Yes. So let us come back and learn the integrated rate equation. So if for your grade 12, you have zero order reaction. That is, then you have first order rate kinetics. Then you have pseudo first order. And you also have numericals based on second order kinetics. So let us start with the zero order reaction. So before the, starting with the zero order reactions, first note all these uh, <coughs> formulas which will be very useful for do, doing your rate order kinetics. So, all the integration formulas, yes, I have written listed out one after the other. So, this is the first, second, third, this is the th fourth one and uh, let us come back to the fifth one, very important for you all. So, when I pick up this particular thing, dx by x is equal to ln x plus c, right? So, when we solve this particular uh, equation, we will be getting a value of 2.303 log 10 x plus c. Let us see how did we get that. So, basically, when I speak about E, what, what does this E mean? E means natural exponent which is equal to 2.718. Now, let us list out the formulas under that. Basically, ln x is equal to log x base E, right? So, we are just equating this and telling it to you. Then, let us come back to the next formula. Log x is equal to log x base 10. Now, when, when, when I have to write the formula for this, just observe log A base base B equal to log A by log B, right? Base can be anything here. Once again, log A base B is equal to log A by log B. Now, when we solve this particular thing, now we have written here ln x is equal to 2.303, isn't it? So, let us see how do we get that. The same thing when I write, write here. Now, what did I write here? I have written ln x. The same thing I have picked up here. ln x base E. It is equal to log x by log e. Right? When I solve this particular value or because when I have already written the value of e here, when I solve this particular uh, ratio, I get an answer of 2.303 log x. The same thing I have written here. Yeah, so please note all these in your books as in when you do your uh, rate law, rate uh, equations that is your zero first and second order, be, all these formulas will be useful for you all. So please note it. Right. So, now what are we going to do? We are going to start with your first zero order rate equation or integrated rate equation of zero order. So, what does that zero order means? Basically, as soon as some integrated rate equations are given to you, first try to write the definition of that particular thing and then start with your uh, integrated equation. So, when I speak about zero order, first let me write. So, what is zero order? Zero order reactions are those, right, start like that and start where the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the what what did you say zero I said no that's the reason we call directly proportional to the zero or directly proportional to the concentration of the concentration of reactants raised to their zero power okay right fine if you are getting confused i said rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactants raised to the zero power means the power of the reactant is we have raised we would normally see right when i see a giving me b suppose if i have to write the coefficient for this how do i write rate is equal to k into a right so now what happened there are no coefficients so i write zero correct so in the same way reactant raised the zero power of reactant right so if you don't want to remember if you can't remember this definition you can always write the rate of zero order reactions are the reactions where the rate of the reaction does not depend on the concentration of the reactants simple in simple words so i have written raised to the zero power so you can write rate does not or doesn't depend on the concentration of reactants. Reactants raised to the power. Yes, done. I have written this particular. Now, let us start with the derivation. How to write the derivation? First, 
I'm going to pick up a reaction uh, A giving me B, right? If you want to write re R giving products, reactants giving products, not a problem. Now, according to this, rate is equal to, always we know the concentration of the reactant decreases and the concentration of the product increases. So, write minus, right, D, reactant concentration in comparison to time, yes, which is equal to K R. Zero. Yes, when the whole concentration of this particular reactant raised to the power of zero power means raised to its power that is zero. Can I just write the same in the other way? How can I write? Now we have equated this and this, isn't it? Right? Now let us come back and write. So what happens? D R by D T is equal to K. Same thing because this whole quantity has become zero. Now we are left with only correct. Now let us write in this way, the constant differentiation of this reactant, I am cross multiplying with this, K dt, done, now let us integrate this reaction, yes, on both the sides, so what did we write here, <coughs> whenever, <coughs> whenever you are integrating and differentiation integration in differentiating and integration what will happen what do you get you get a constant here yes that is what we have written according to this formula i'm going to apply the same here differentiation and on differentiation and on integration what are we going to get if i take this out yes let me take so now according to this formula <coughs> the same formula implies here according to this when we on differentiation integration we get a constant isn't it so let us write the same thing i'm going to name this as two so differentiation integration this becomes r minus differentiation integration it becomes kt so what should i do i have to add a constant here i done now if reaction has become what we are going to start now I am going to consider if 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 t is equal to 0 the initial concentration would become equal to r naught correct yes now substitute the same value here what do we get I get r yes and I am going to take g t and what am I going to take this t is equal to 0 so make this a 0 <coughs> I said R is going to become R naught, R is going to become R naught, R naught plus I. So when I take out this becomes completely, this whole quantity becomes 0. So R naught is equal to I. Now I am going to take this as 3. Now fourth equation. I am going to take this value of I, substitute 3 in second equation. Pick up this value of I. As R not here. What do I get? R is equal to minus KT plus R not. Yes. Now let me use this part of the board. Now I've come to the fourth equation. I'm writing the fourth equation here again. R is equal to minus KT plus R not. Yes. Now, get this k on this side, becomes plus, this comes on this, in this direction, r naught by r by t. Now, this is your integrated rate equation for zero order. This is your zero order rate equation. Now, let us see the units now. When I take this out, now what is this particular R not my R? It is concentration, correct? So it is unit for concentration. I have to write unit for concentration. That is basically change in concentration, correct? By this is unit for time. What do we get? What is concentration unit? It is moles per liter, isn't it? So moles per liter is your unit concentration. So liter inverse. This comes, this is per time so what is zero order unit when i write zero order unit clearly mole liter inverse time inverse that means your second inverse rather yes let, once again let us come back what did i do i picked up a condition where i said if the t is equal to zero 
what will happen to the rate or concentration of the reactant then i came to a conclusion that the initial concentration also will become zero so i i tried to use the same term in this particular equation instead of r i have written r not instead of t t has become zero and i so i've got a value of i equal to r not i came back and i substituted in the same react equation so i got this quantity from that i finally derived zero order rate equation and we finally wrote the units also for zero order correct now after writing or deriving the rate equation after uh, deriving the units let us come back and learn the zero order representation graphically